guys and welcome back to Beverly's Design Time. Tonight I'm going to be making a mirror tray. I saw this beautiful tray at Home Goods about three weeks ago and it was really beautiful but simple. Rather than paying $29.99 for it, I decided that I would DIY it and of course share it with you guys. And this tray was just made of three simple things. A round mirror. It had a base similar to this. And some chandelier prisms. So I decided to change mine up a little bit. I'll be using this Dollar Tree Lazy Susan with mine. Going to spray paint the outside silver and put some bling around it. I got some glass cleaner here to keep my mirror clean and to clean my chandelier pieces. I have my glue gun ready. And I'm going to be using some of this Gorilla Epoxy with this project. I have a popsicle stick to help me apply the glue to the tray and to the prisms. Let me grab some paper and let's just get started. And I'm going to go ahead and open up the epoxy. The epoxy comes with a little stick. Alright, so now I have two. Right here in the middle, they have that piece that goes on the top. Break this piece off and put the top back on for now. Okay, before we get started, let's just clean these up a bit. So I'm just going to spray some glass cleaner on this rag. So I'm just going to grab some gloves, guys, finish cleaning these up, and then we'll go on with the DIY. Okay guys, so I'm back and I have my gloves on to prevent fingerprints. Now I'm going to make this as fast as I can. It's really simple. All you have to do is line up your prisms all the way around. Just like this. Once you get them all the way around, we'll start adding glue, but we're going to hold them up like this. And to do that, I'm just going to put glue between the prism. Then I'll tape it like this with the blue tape to hold it in place while it dries. So that's what we're going to do. So let's just line these up. Now they don't fit perfectly together on this mirror, so I'm going to have to leave a little bit of space between each one. But you guys can see how pretty this looks already. So this is how it's going to look, guys. Isn't that beautiful already? But they will be sitting up just like this. I want the tip of the prism to be right at the tip of the mirror. All right, let's get the glue ready and get some tape ready. So here's a piece of tape. I'm only going to do a few on camera. Then I'll go off camera and do the rest of them. But you guys will be able to understand what I'm doing. All right, mix this up. You just want to mix a little bit at a time because it dries relatively fast. So let's start with this one. All right, so it's going to sit there. Putting the glue right there. Line it up with the edge of the glass. Make sure it's straight. And then tape it down. Tape it in place. just like so. All 
go to the next piece do the same thing and I'm putting it right at the dip and right on top just to make sure it gets proper contact Perfect. And then just kind of slide it around as you go. Have your tape ready, put it on the back. Add your glue right here. Okay guys, so yeah, that's how you do it. Just take your time, try and line them up as straight as you possibly can, tape them down, and then let them dry. So I'm going to continue to do that all the way around, and I'll come back once it's done so you can see what it looks like. Okay guys, this is what it looks like with all the pieces on there. Now while it's drying, if you see that one needs to stand higher, then you can go ahead and shift it. But if you wait over 30 minutes, you might not be able to move it. As you are going around, just check them periodically to make sure that they are in place. I'm going to let this dry for about two hours, then I'll come back and go on to the next step. But meanwhile, I'm going to go ahead and spray paint the outside part of the silver. Okay guys, I'm back. And here's the Lazy Susan. I just wanted to spray paint the edges. Still have some overspray on top, but that's okay. So let's just move that aside for now. So what I want to do is add some bling to the outside of it. So I have this bling and I'm trying to see if it's going to take two or three rows. This is three row bling. So let's just go with that. I'm going to use my hot glue gun and just start with a bead here and attach it. And the reason I painted the background silver is because I didn't want the white to shine through. It actually takes away from the bling. Normally I would add some fix-all, but um, I'm just going to use the glue just to show you how to put it on and save time. guys just like that so then what you do is take your mirror and flip it over and I'm not gonna put much hot glue on here because I think I want to do something different with this now I really don't like how thin the mirror is I'm thinking about buying a second mirror and gluing it to it to make it thicker or maybe a piece of wood or some foam but I really don't like how thin it is on the side but if you're okay with that you can just bling out the side glue this on with a little bit of hot glue and I'm just going to put like a couple little things of glue because like I said I'm not going to leave this on here right now I think I want to do something different and whatever I decide to do I'll come back and let you guys see what that looks like all right just put it on there flip it over and it's done All right, so the next thing to do now is to remove the tape. These are on here good and firm. Look at that. This is why I like the Grilly Epoxy Glue. It really glues fast and it holds very well. Mm -hmm. 
This is the spray paint that I used on the Lazy Susan. I didn't have the other brilliant silver that I normally get, but um, I did have this on hand, so just some regular silver spray paint will work fine. And also at the very beginning of the video, I said that the bottom of the tray that I saw at Home Goods had a base on it similar to this one. I think it was a little flatter. But this is what it would look like if you added the base as well. The one that I saw at Home Goods did not have a Lazy Susan on it. So yeah, you can still put it on the base and do it that way as well. And then bling out the size if you want to. But it really don't need it because this is so pretty already. But yeah, guys, that's it. I'm going to go ahead and clean this up. Come back and show you what it looks like at the end of the video. And I'm also planning on doing a mirror with the same technique. So stay tuned for that. You don't want to miss that. So yeah, guys, this was inexpensive and it turned out really beautiful. So yeah, guys, that's it for now. I hope you enjoyed this DIY. And if you did, please leave me a thumbs up. And if you are a subscriber, make sure you turn on your post notifications. That's very important. If you aren't a subscriber, please subscribe now. It's free. I would truly love to have you join my YouTube family. So yeah, guys, that's it for now. And I'll see you in the next one. Thanks so much for watching.